Hi, this is Sue Jackson of the Book by Book blog, and I'm here with my Friday reads. I am still enjoying the RIP challenge. That's Readers Imbibing Peril. It's in its 19th year. I've participated for like the last 10 or 12, I think. I looked that up on my blog recently, but I don't remember exactly. Somewhere between nine and 12 years. Um, and all it means is reading darker stuff in the fall. So um, I will link to my RIP video down below where I have an enormous pile of possibilities and I've really been enjoying reading those. In September, I was focused more on the series books out of that pile for series September. And now I'm getting into the non-series books. And there are some books on this side of the pile that I've been dying to read. And the most urgent to me was Upgrade by Blake Crouch. This is another sci-fi thriller. Blake Crouch is a wonderful author. Um, his novel, Dark Matter, another sci-fi thriller, one of my favorite books ever. Recursion was also very good. But what you might not know about Blake Crouch is he's also a screenwriter. And so he wrote the books and the screenplays for the TV show Wayward Pines, for um, a show called Good Behavior, which I think was also based on a series of books he wrote. He's written some older thrillers. I just gave one to my husband for his birthday yesterday. Um, but both of us really enjoy his newer sci-fi thrillers. They are always based heavily in real science, and that makes them extra creepy because they could really happen. So Upgrade is set in a near future where genetic modifications have become illegal. The main character in this novel, Logan Ramsey, his mother was a famous and infamous uh, genetic biologist who was working to try to alleviate world hunger. She came up with a genetic, a way to genetically modify the insects that fed on the rice crops in China. This was supposed to be a way to make the crops more robust, higher yields, things like that that would alleviate hunger. Well, instead, her experiment kicked off a worldwide famine as there were unexpected consequences. So she died years ago. Logan is now working for the Genetic Protection Agency, the GPA, a new government agency in the US that is, that is arresting people like him um, he used to be a genetic biologist along with his mom. And so he was arrested at one point. Um, after the whole thing with his mom, the GPA was formed. He was arrested and they told him they would pardon him if he came to work for the GPA because they needed geneticists with that kind of knowledge to, to work, to look for other geneticists doing the same kind of work. So in a way, you know, he feels like he's betraying his past career and his past colleagues, but he really didn't have a chance. So right at the beginning of the book, he and his partner are going on a raid. They've heard there's a biological lab um, in Colorado. So they're there, they, they bring a SWAT team, they go in, um, he is wearing protective gear, but there's a very unique kind of explosion. And he is exposed to something that the top doctors can't quite figure out. So he's very sick at first, he's in the hospital. The doctors don't know exactly what he was exposed to. But then after about a month, he starts to notice that he's been upgraded. 
Um, he starts to notice a greater clarity of thinking, better memory. Um, he can now like speed read books and absorb everything in them. Um, also greater physical prowess. He can run like he's never run before. He has unbelievable stamina and he realizes that his, that whatever it was that infected him has upgrade, upgraded his genetics, his genome. That's the setup for this book. As with all of Blake Crouch's books, this is a riveting, gripping thriller, nonstop action. So it's, it's science. I mean, that's why it's a sci-fi thriller, but it is set against this backdrop of Logan is trying to stay away from the government who wants to study him, trying to figure out what happened to him, trying to prevent it from happening to other people because he was a part of his mother's uh, crop experiment and he knows there can be unintended consequences. Um, in fact, the world today in where Logan is is still suffering like 20 years later from the from the consequences of that famine that he and his mother started. So very twisty plot, lots of action, lots of suspense, um, and really kind of ripped from the headlines. So really enjoying Upgrade by Blake Crouch. I've just started a new book on audio that also fits into the RIP challenge. And that is When Ghosts Come Home by Wiley Cash. Now, I have never read Wiley Cash before, but I had heard that he was an outstanding author. So when I had a chance to um, get this audio, the name, the author's name is what caught my eye. Um, it, it seems to be a mystery so far. I've only listened to three chapters. Um, it focuses on the sheriff of a small town named Winston. He and his wife, Marie, um, live in North Carolina on the Outer Banks on an island. And in the middle of the night, they hear this huge sound. They live really close to the small airfield. And so Winston goes out to investigate. And what he finds there is a small plane that has crashed and a local resident who's been shot dead lying on the tarmac. So that's the mystery at the heart of this. I don't know a whole lot more yet. Um, I can tell you so far the audio is excellent, um, very immersive. I'm really enjoying the story. So far it seems to be a, just a straightforward mystery. Um, I'm sure things will get more complicated as this, the novel goes on. So that's When Ghosts Come Home by Wiley Cash. Um, I would love to know if you've read any Wiley Cash, because like I said, this is my first book by him, and I've heard he's a very good author. So let me know in the comments down below if you've read Wiley Cash and any books that you enjoyed, and also what you're reading this week.